trailer is over here. Whoop! There we go. Okay, so pretzel rocks, you shush. Um, I did ask them ahead of time. I asked them if um, try and space Valkyries at a space. Wow, but also space. Um, I did ask them ahead of time about the content of the game, about um, any themes, um, content warnings. It looks like everything should be okay. I asked about the music because it has a really nice soundtrack. And as far as I can tell, the, this, the music is okay to stream, but we don't find that out until later. Uh, but let's have a peek at the soundtrack. I'm oh, sorry, the, the, the track. I'm going to stop trying to speak today because apparently I am simply not good at it. Wow. Um, I just, wow. I'm going to shush and press play now. me um so that is a, that is a trailer for harlow and yeah they're bops bops galore just bops on bops on bops for this game uh i would not apologize one little bit because it is very cute um, i'm going to be playing with controller today um but i can also i did a little quick test with mouse and keyboard um and um it should work with either one so we're going to go ahead and actually Pop right on into it. And what I will also do is I will also start a giveaway. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, everyone can enter. We will do um, that. Okay, so. Um, okay, Nightbot is... Okay, now I understand. I, I'm i I'm quickly learning how Nightbot does giveaways. So I see a bunch of people have already spoken, so they're eligible, but I'm going to give you a keyword to enter, and the keyword is going to be exclamation point enter, and that will make you eligible for the giveaway. So... Uh, and Nightbot entered, which... If Nightbot wins, we're repulling. Actually, I'm gonna un I'm gonna make Nightbot ineligible right now because that's ridiculous. Um, but yes, so if you're interested in a giveaway for a chance at a Steam code for the game, by all means, press exclamation point enter in chat right now uh, to make yourself eligible for the Steam code for Harlow, and we will see how well Nightbot does at this. And Click Flint has entered. Okay, so um, anyone who's here. Um, it, I, you know, there we go. Everything's lighting up. Uh, let's see here. Yes, 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 it's working. Okay, yay, it's working. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the game up, and we're going to see uh, how well this works. I did have to do some adjustments on Steam to get things to run smoothly. So let's go. Um, and, uh, and yeah, but uh, thank you to Rogue Company. For sending this over um it looks like a really cute game um it's a, it's a sponsored stream today so we're gonna be playing um as much and showing off as much as we can if anyone wants me to stop or go back to something let me know and uh, we'll take a look at it right now okay it's working hey, it's doing the thing it's doing the thing
looks like things are working okay. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, I am going to, I realize I need to do one thing. I'm going to put the giveaway command on a timer so that, um, I'm going to put the giveaway command on a timer so that it happens. Um, I didn't want to advertise giveaway in the chat because people can be so weird about it. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'll just remember to, uh, I remember to do this, and if a mod can remember every now and then to type in exclamation point giveaway, I would appreciate it. Springleaf, welcome on in. Um, let's enjoy this bop while I do a little bit of disco. The bop will probably not mesh well with the disco, but that's okay. Nope, not meshing well at all. I'm not sure which song to dance to. This is, uh-uh, this is a bad mashup. It's bad. There's a, there's a term for when DJs don't know how to blend songs well, and the, the downbeats of the songs start clashing, and they call it basically putting a pair of shoes in a dryer, because, like, that's what it really, it's like, clunk, 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 clunk. So, um, so yes, but thank you, welcome on in Springleaf. Um, 37 months, I appreciate that. It's amazing. I still do not know how... I don't... I mean, I know... I, I hopefully know why people come, because I hope you're somewhat entertained, but the, su the support for so many months is really kind of overwhelming, so thank you. Um, but yes, it is Tuesday. It is a gorgeous and glorious 71 degrees outside, and uh, we're going to try playing Harlow. Um... And I will ask chat to keep me apprised if uh, the volume is too high. Um, if the volume's too high, uh, let me know. Um, there is a giveaway going on, so you can type exclamation point enter in chat to uh, to go for a Steam code. And uh, so this is interestingly enough, it doesn't work with the thumbstick, but it does work with the D-pad. So let's take a look at the settings. The settings are super, super simple. Um, we have let we have language settings, which is nice. So five languages. Um, you can invert the aiming. So once selected, your aim will be inverted. So the aiming line goes away from your input direction. The reason for that is that to move around, you actually kind of fling yourself. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Magic aiming help. When selected, gameplay will get slowed down when aiming, which I am going to turn that on. And I am not using Razor Chroma, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, <clears throat> yes, it is Yeet-based propulsion. I'm going to reset my progress just in case, because I did play a little bit to test it, so we'll reset my progress. And I think that also reset my magic aiming, so we'll do that. Um, okay, so if everything appears to be working, and um, this is one of the times where I'm going to ask if things get if things get hinky on my end or on your end, if the stream craps out or things pause or freeze, um, go ahead and type it in chat. And if you see someone else put it in chat, you don't have to add to it. I will do my best to fix it on the fly. Um, I don't know about intense moments, but it is... It is a platformer, so I'm willing to bet that there may be moments when you need that, like, ex you need that timing to get down. Um, you know, like, not like get down, get down, but, you know, you need to get the timing down. So we'll find out. Um, but the basic premise is that you are one of a pair of robots who is trying to collect resources so that you can plan a surprise party for the crew that you're about to wake up out of cryo sleep. And we will see how that plays out. Get down on it. I'm going to start a 10 minute timer for the giveaway because y'all are the worst.
Uh, yay. Yes, Panther Lily, you can. Um, and Road to Hell, if you can, take a peek outside because it's really nice. Hey, Brian. Um, and Brian, you can't type that in chat because now I'm thinking. Da -da 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 -da. The last of Earth's pioneer ships, the R1 Humanity, has been adrift for eons longer than planned. Hey, Candyman Criminal. The researchers on board remain frozen in stasis, unaware of their misfortune among the cosmos. Oh, Panther. It's loud for me, but if it's not loud for you, I'm going to turn it down for me. With the ship nearing an ancient planet, Manifesto and Harlow, the ship's navigators, start assessing the dire situation. This is very loud, but that's okay. Actually, no, it's not okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna manage this right quick. Oh, wow. Um, welcome in the Opera Geek. Holy crap with that lovely raid from people. Um, it is indeed an Opera Raid. I thank you. Uh, hold on a second. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Um, and thank you for the resub. I don't know how to pronounce Viking Vikinger. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think that's how they pronounce it in the game, Vikinger. Um, but welcome. Thank you for the thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome on in. Everything is now turned down because I have to turn the game down. Hey, Tanya, welcome on in. Both Kelly and Tanya, last playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hope that the uh, the new content in DLC is, is going well. Um, I saw one of the fights that you uploaded to YouTube. Um, and also, welcome Raiders. Uh, if you don't know who I am, uh, oh, Fijit, thank you for the resub. If you don't know who I am, I am Urban Bohemian. I am Brian. I am a variety streamer here on the platform. Today we're playing Harlow, which... We're just gonna turn Harlow down on the stream, on the stream deck. There we go. That actually works a lot better, so I think I'm gonna do that. And, and now I will have to remember later on that I turned it down. Uh, which will be something I absolutely will not remember whatsoever. Oh gosh. Oh no, what? Oh gosh, you stop. Don't break me. I'm fragile. Um, but yes, so uh, that's another resub. Uh, let me do the raid thing. So let's see. Um, my timings are going to be completely off on this, but let me walk you in properly. welcoming you to the channel. You will find a variety of content here, including but not limited to games, food and drink, chat, and tabletop RPGs, and it is our fondest wish that some or all of it will entice you to follow and perhaps even subscribe to this channel. In accordance with the channel rules, we ask that you be your best selves and understand that the streamer and mods have the final word. Type yeah. should you find yourself Thank you. unable I... to enjoy or You're very kind, content. everyone. We understand if you cannot stay. Very, very kind. See you back and if you'd like a time. code for, we are uh, very pleased if you'd like to have a chance to win a Steam code for the game that I'm playing today, please type exclamation point enter in chat, Great and uh, you're going to break me, and it's breaking me in the most delightful ways, I guess. Uh, but yes, so welcome on in. Thank you for the raid. I do hope Scotty is doing well. I hope that Kelly is doing well. I hope that everyone is doing well. So yes, um, exclamation point enter, and there are about. 
Uh, five minutes left on that giveaway. We're going to hop into the game. We're going to hop back into the game. Uh, wow. Thank you, everyone. It's very, very kind of you. Um, okay, so. This game has the cool, the, the cool, like, chilled, laid-back soundtrack. Um, so. With the ship nearing an ancient planet, Manifesto and Harlow, the ship's navigators, start assessing the dire situation. I feel like the game gets a little bit stuck on these opening screens, so I'm going to give it a second, and then I'm going to try using the mouse. There we go. Okay. Um, but everyone who got a gift sub, uh, welcome on in. Please enjoy the emotes. Um, to everybody who's been giving the gift subs, uh, thank you very much. I, I just, I, yeah, I, I can't. Y'all are just too nice. So I'm going to tap to launch Harlow while y'all are being so kind. So the premise is that... Harlow, who we control, and Manifesto, who's the ship's computer, are trying to find resources um, for their ship's crew that are currently in cryostasis. Okay, Tiny Circuit Bud, there's a 2.44% 2, 2 chance we pull this off, so it's totally possible. I'll scan the surface so we can get an idea of what we're in for. Let's see how the surface atmosphere is. I'm not sure why Manifesto turned into a radio host in my head, but okay. Okay, decent atmosphere. Not the worst. We can work with that. Let's see if there's any inhabitants living down there. Whoa, totally deserted. There's tons of power signatures down there, though. Hmm. Last critical thing, how's the planet's resources? <gasps> Jackpot. There's power cores down there. We can make anything with those. Which means... Phew! That's totally habitable enough. The humans won't even know we're off course. Oh, we're off course. Oops. Alright, this is great news. Gumbo will fly you to the surface. Head back when you find something. Oh my gosh, the little our little thing is called Gumbo. That's cute. Level landfall. Collect three resources. Okay, so the way we play is you drag to aim and you're released to jump, so... and recharge your two jumps by hitting the ground, so we actually get two jumps. Oh, and then it turns into a little uh, hourglass, and then we boop back on the ground. So this is a yeet-based propulsion, yes. But if we can hit something, then we... Because now, I want to know what's over here, and... Oh no, 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 hit, 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 hit! Hit the boop and boop, 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 boop. I booped too much. Okay. Um. So that is how we. <laughs> that is how we move in this game. Um. <laughs> so let's uh let's 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 yeet ourselves. And that's a checkpoint. Uh, you can invert the aim. And that's our objective, so we need to get that. Ooh! And we don't want to touch those. So that takes us back to our checkpoint. <laughs> Oops. Um, so we need to, yeah, we basically yeet, and then by... by Pooping the ground, we recharge our ability to throw ourselves. And our checkpoints look like that. And, oh, no, wait. Okay, hold on. 
Yeah, this looks dangerous, so I don't think we actually want to do that. All right, that is my timer. So we're going to see who has entered the giveaway, and we're going to give away a Steam code. Um, we're going to give away a Steam code for... One second. Nightbot, you're not eligible. Um, so... Rolling the giveaway right now, and the winner is... Gidget! If you are in chat, please speak up. And uh, I will send you a Steam code. Uh, if for any reason, if for any reason uh, someone doesn't want to win, that's okay. Um, you can you can ask me to re-roll the giveaway if you don't plan on playing it. Um, if you're not around, I'll I'll give you like a minute or two. Um, but yes, congratulations, Gidget. If you are within the sound of my voice or the s chat is booping your things, because I have. I have the, like, better Twitch TV, so it boops when somebody says my name in chat. Which I forgot to turn off, so let me do that. Um, I have just not got it together this week, and I really know it's because an hour of time was stolen from me, and I'm all thrown off. Um, so, Gidget, if you're still here, uh, all you gotta do is say hi in chat for a Steam code for Harlow. And, um, as I always say, if you, if you win the giveaway and you're like, eh, maybe not for me that's okay I can re-roll and pick another winner um so we yeet ourselves um I'm gonna guess that we don't want to touch the thing okay um and it feels like we have to kind of master the in-air yeet of ourselves so like when we're up we kind of have to learn how to also do that. Although, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Um, okay, so we don't like fire. Uh, and that takes us back and it does time us, but I'm not worried about beating my time. Um, when I tested this, I totally did it in like a really short time because I kind of was like, okay. Um, let's see here, Gidget, are you around? If not, I will re-roll and, uh, and give the code away to someone else. Give you one more minute. Um, and while that happens, we'll continue. Um, but if you do exclamation point Harlow, uh, you can get a link to it. You can see it. It's in the Steam store. It was released today. And I think it's really cool. Um, the, the developer has a thing talking about his own story and how um, he went through cancer diagnosis and treatment. And then he went through, um, you know, he suffered some family losses, but he turned to art and creation and game development to help him get through it. And I think that is that is admirable. Um, to be able to to look at things that way, you know, not to super say, oh, bright side, but looking to art to help you get out of times is is a fantastic thing. And I want to both. Oh, oh, oh. Little bud, you found power cores out there. This is great news. With power cores we can power Gumbo to fly you back and forth. We need to find a safe place to land, but as long as there's power cores, we can keep exploring. Okay. Um, Gidget, I haven't seen anything from you, so I'm maybe you had to raid and run, um, but hopefully um, if, you're, if you're around later, uh, you can always re-enter. Uh, but let me pick another winner. Anna, uh, Anna underscore K, if you are around and you would like a Steam code for Harlow, please speak up in chat. Hello, hello. Excellent. Uh, let me see if I can actually send you a Twitch whisper. Oh, can't do it from there. Um, but congratulations. Let me quickly do this.
really game? Is that what we're doing? I love being able to do giveaways, but then I get so stressed out doing giveaways that sometimes it's like, ah, um, because it's really kind of them to also see, to make sure that we essentially get to, um, get to give away this really cute game and let other people play it. But I need to pause that. Let's try this. Okay. So this is a Steam code for Harlow. Uh, please enjoy it in good fun. Uh, you can use it for yourself, or if you know someone you want to give it to, uh, you can give it to them. All good. And uh, let's continue. Um, so the giveaway is keeping. The giveaway is continuing. Um, so by all means, please keep uh, keep doing exclamation point enter if you'd like to win. Um, it is all good, and we will keep going. Nightbot, are you there? Alrighty. Um, Okie doke. Okay, so. Uh, we need to find a safe place to land, but as long as there's power cores, we can keep exploring. And let me put another, let's say another 10 minutes on the clock. gives me an idea. Okay, so there's music from Manifesto's playlist. If we can find a place to land, maybe the humans won't even mind that they're off course. Enjoy, Tanya. I hope that you are having a good time there, a safe time there. I saw the picture and I hope that you're having fun. Have a great panel. Jump to the launch bay to the right and Gumbo will take you to the next spot to search. While you're down, I'll think about what the humans might need once they defrost. Okay, so that's to the right, so obviously we're going to the left. Oh, that's a force field, so the game said nope. Okay, what are you? Leto. What if you made nachos, but instead of chips, it was slices of pizza? I mean, I'm here for this. Tell us more, Lido. I've never met a pizza I didn't like. True. Okay, so I think these are our humans. And this is just the ship, and we're just bouncing into stuff because we can. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do anything on here, or if this is just to help you, like, explore. It's so cute when it bounces into things! It makes the cutest little rabbit noises! Okay, so those are all of our people in cryo. Oh, 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 okay. Ah, nope. Wait, go back. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I'm actually really glad that, that, that disabling that in Steam seems to have helped because there are other Steam games that I did want to share. And, oh, I've got so many ideas for hobbies. Ugh, okay, this game is coming for me now and I don't like it. Let's go to the bay to the right, as we were requested. Everything is, like, everything is bounceable. Like, just, just boop into everything. Oh, what is, no, don't, oh, I want to see what that was. Um, so I like the soundtrack. The mechanics of playing are simple, which is simp simply deceptive sometimes. Because I'm like, oh, this is easy. Is it, though? Okay, so that's our first checkpoint, and... Oh, that's friend? 
Oh, we've got to put friend into there to... Oh, okay, so... Oh, and these are... Findables. Maybe they're stars that unlock stuff? Oh, I don't think I want to be in that. Whatever that is. I don't think I want to be in that. Um, I'll double check, but no. Uh, the best thing about Nightbot is you don't have to re-enter, so the giveaway is sort of ongoing. So everyone who has typed exclamation point enter is in. If you would like to, uh, if you would like to be considered for a giveaway, sorry, a chance to win a giveaway for a Steam code, um, type exclamation point enter in chat. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know what the stars are, but we're gonna. Oh, are you another boop friend? I think you are. Oh, and that's fire. Okay, so we need to really yeet ourselves into you. Nope! Okay, so... Checkpoints reset, but our boop friend didn't, so... And we should be on the lookout for those boopables. Uh, but we need to get our friend over here. To unlock the thingy? Uh, does it have to be the right... Oh, wait. Does it have to be the right shape? No? Okay. We're good. Yeah, let's go where we're not supposed to go. Huh. Alright, fine. Oh. Mysterious data in Terrabang. Mysterious data? Hmm. Just like the first season of Picard. And thankfully, not the second. I'm the worst. Um, I am trying to catch up on Discovery, and I've actually been watching uh, a few episodes today. So I should have finished Discovery up to the current episode by this evening, and I'm enjoying it, and I've been thinking about the ways that Star Trek Discovery is different than Star Trek Picard, and what are our expectations of Star Trek series? Oh, okay, the stuff that we collected just went into a tube. Uh, hello, mysterious tube stuff. Oh, what? Research station. So use party data to invent stuff and throw the humans a party. Uh, okay, well, first off, lighting, obviously. Lighting. Like plants, humans require light. Unlike plants, humans have lights specifically for parties. So we can research... We can research party lights, which I'm going to obviously do right now. Okay, so we researched it, but to build it, we've got to get more of the star stuff. Um, every party needs vibrating wavelengths of sound, so we can research music, furniture, Food. Humans share about 60% of their DNA with bananas, so it should come as no surprise that they really, really enjoy food. Machinery. Probably useful once the ship lands somewhere. So it looks like those little dealies that we've been collecting are going to be used to... Um... Oh! So the little dealies you've been collecting are going to be used to make things for the humans. Um, enjoy the work, Lurk Uncle Gamer. Thank you for hanging out. Um, and welcome, Ethan. And that map that I saw is to play previous levels. So, or previous, yeah, 
So cool. And it's to see our, uh, like, can we just play, basically play it again? Okay, so we got some mysterious star stuff, and they're using it to collect data. Now we're back to Manifesto. Whoa, 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 what did you find out there? The glowing data you gathered has low work efficiency, but a high joy coefficient. Steven, pay attention. A high joy coefficient. Know what that means? We're going to throw a party! My research indicates that humans love parties. Music, food, games, parties basically sustain human life. My research also indicates that parties require planning. So... We're going to use the data you find and plan a welcome home party. The humans are going to be so happy, they probably won't even deactivate us. Go ahead and explore some more. I'll reconfigure some stuff while you're out. Oof, this is so exciting. My circuits are all buzzing. Okay, so the point is now to go and find things and stuff. Oh, let's talk to Leto again. My bad. Because Leto might have more ideas. I'm guessing there's no restaurants out on the planet. Look, when you're in space, home is wherever you are, I guess? I wonder if fried soup is a thing. If it's not Leto, it should be. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and get another, let's pull another giveaway. Um, I see a bunch of people entered and I thought you are entered and I'm not rolling for you. Um, so let's roll it and see who our winner is. Black Dog 2071, if you are out, sorry, if you are in or if you're out, it's fine either way. Uh, just speak up in chat and you have won the giveaway. Um, and also, I enjoyed the pictures that you shared from the convention that you recently attended. It was nice to see your face. I mean, it's possible to deep fry a lot of things. So fried soup, I wouldn't put it past, although a deep fried soup dumpling, that could get crunchy and messy all at the same time, which also sounds like a really old D&D campaign. So, you know, hit or miss, either way. Um, but yeah, if you're around, uh, speak up. And uh, otherwise, I'll pull somebody else. And it's all good. Um, I have four more codes to give away. So get in the thing. Um, Lady Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, and now Leto. Comrade Slyther, happy Tuesday to you. Uh, we're playing Harlow today, which is this little kind of platformer where we yeet ourselves around as a gear ball. But we're also trying to collect resources so that the humans on the ship that we're taking care of don't know that we have sort of maybe messed up and got them stranded somewhere. Okay, so it looks like we can knock this over. Oh. Uh, but we definitely want to do that, so uh, let's not knock ourselves into the goo. Um, and I see what it means now. I thought that there was some gravity happening, but I understand now. The game is slowing down just a little bit when I do this, and I'm moving. You can kind of see, like, behind me, the game slows down when I'm aiming, and that's intentional. Hello, the black dog. Let me get you, um, let me get you your code. And yeah, congratulations. And this is a code, uh, for a steam code of Harlow. And, uh, you are more than welcome to use it for yourself and enjoy this cute game. You are also more than welcome to take that code and give it away to somebody who you think might like this game. Um, I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of a pause. I've got three codes left, so um, we'll come back around in maybe 20-ish minutes or so. 
we'll see. What'll that be? Yeah. Okay, there's a pupper outside that definitely has opinions, and I don't know what that's about. Um, one of my neighbors has a little, uh, I think it's a French bulldog or terrier, and it's definitely not happy. So there's a lot of the, like, the tiny yapping noise of barking. And I'm like, what's going on over there? Um, oh, wow. It's a raid. Mighty Mur, welcome on in. Uh, today we are playing Harlow. I am Herb Bohemian, your host. Welcome to Fantasy Island. No, welcome to my stream. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Um, I hope that you're, I, I don't know if Tuesday is one of your podcast days or not, um, but I hope that your stream went really well and welcome on in Raiders. Um, I do hope you will find yourself happily comfortable here. Uh, we're playing Harlow, which is this cute little physics-y throw yourself around platformer to do things. It's got a cute story behind it. Um, it's out on Steam today. And we are doing giveaways, so if you play games on Steam and you're interested in what you see, type exclamation point enter in chat to be considered for a giveaway for Harlow. Um, and while you're here, I will say, welcome Raiders. There it goes. Welcome Raiders. We know you have a choice in Twitch streamers, and we thank you for rating Urban Bohemian. We hope that you'll enjoy your stay and consider following so we can see you again soon. This music is so infectious. by your friendly streamer. Please adhere to the channel rules and moderator instructions. In the event of a loss of interest, spoilers, or that the stream's content is simply not to your liking, the exit button can be found in the upper right or upper left corner of your screen, and we invite you to peruse one of Twitch's many other offerings. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. We're very happy to have you here. So yeah, uh, we're playing Harlow. Um... There is a there's a giveaway for Harlow happening right now. Um, also, exclamation point Harlow in chat for some information on the game and a link to the Steam page. We are definitely flying chill hop. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Maybe you can when I'm talking, but there's a car alarm happening. Thank you. They are currently a reflective blue green, which the green screen is having a whole time with. Um, so, yeah, but I love them. I need to redo them because I've already been wearing them away, so I need to redo them. Um, back to the broadcast. So, yeah, uh, if that happens again, I'll close the door. Uh, but we currently have a giveaway uh, about 20 minutes until the next draw for a Steam code for this game. It is out on Steam today. A rogue company very kindly gave me a code so that we can show off this cuteness on stream. And the net sales and proceeds have a have a bit of a, a benefit to charity. Um, uh, one percent of the sales from Harlow are going to be donated to uh, Black Girls Code and College for Cancer. So we get to play games. You get maybe a cute no. Ugh, don't do the thing. Get back here. Uh, you get to benefit a good cause. And you get to play a cute game. And we're going to try not to die too much. Ah! No! <laughs> oh no. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh God. I keep trying to move myself, and I realize you can't move that way. You can only move by yeeting. So, you must be the yeetus that you want to see in your life. I'm not used to that kind of thing. I'm like, oh, but we found more party data. Um, so party data lets us research things and we can make things for the party. And the whole premise of the game is that we are part of a few robots on a sleeper ship. The crew is currently in cryo sleep. The ship has gone off course and is lost. So our big plan is, we're gonna get stuff to throw them a party. We're gonna find them a place to live, throw them a party, and when we throw them the party, they're gonna forget all about the fact that they're lost and they won't delete us as the ship's computer stuff. So, solid plan. Solid, solid plan. 
solid plan. So solid. Much plan, very solid. So plan, very, very solid. Absolutely. Um, but the install size was the install size was not large. Um, this is a sleek, sleek packaged game. Um, as you, I did notice, and I'm sorry, I went through the setting screen earlier. Right now, there is no way to control the volume, and there is no way to control the screen resolution or graphics quality. I did put a note into the developers, and I, when I hear back from them, I will let folks know uh, what happens. But that was the first thing that I asked. I was like, can I change the volume? And can I change the graphic settings? And so far, no. So I am manually controlling the volume uh, with my stream deck. Thank you, Steven, for telling me about this. The latest stream deck update broke it. And then the next stream deck update after that restored it. So, you know, things. Uh, this is also Lido. Lido has great ideas about food. Oh, about everything. I like life on the ship. It's cozy in here. We do like cozy. We should build robot pets out of all of the scrap on the planet. Okay, Leto officially has the best ideas. Okay, that's just... Oop, let me give you another friend boop. How's it going, my intrepid friend? I'm gonna start coming into your chat saying that. How's it going, my intrepid friend? Wow, this planet's pretty dangerous, huh? Glad you made it back, and with more party data. Hi, DC. While you were out, I reconfigured our replicator. This will turn that data into stuff that humans like. It's right above us. It's a big glowing thing. You should have enough data to research some stuff to make. The more data you collect, the more stuff you can research and build. You can also keep exploring. Either way. So what I'm also getting is that the exploration is the key here, but getting the data is also important. Um, so we crafted some lighting last time, so we researched it. So we're going to build some. Okay, we have crafted string lights. Um, I don't know if they go anywhere. Do they go anywhere? Let's find out if they actually go. Oh, they do! Look at that! Oh my gosh! So we're decorating this ship. Okay, well now we gotta now we gotta find that ball pit. So we gotta we gotta get enough because I we definitely saw the ball pit in the uh, in the trailer. So now we gotta get enough stuff to get that ball pit going on. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, hold on, let me just check. My knocking wood worked because OBS is behaving itself. Um, so I like that, you know, I basically love music like this because it gives me, I mean, first off, who doesn't like chill hop, trip hop, uh, chill lo-fi, whatever you want to call it, it's nice. Um, I love that in a game aesthetic. It's just like, the game doesn't really want you to feel stressed out, so it's going to give you some very chill tunes to go with your chill game. interesting. What we do know is that we've got to get this... No, nope, come here. We've got to get this key, this key little hex over to where we need to go. So let's boop into it. I said let's boop into it. So that didn't work out well for us, but it did work out well for the key. So that's okay. Uh, because the game doesn't punish you, which can we talk about games that don't punish you? I'm not talking about any game in particular that makes itself purposely hard to play. I just like games that let you make mistakes and don't like you like live with that mistake forever. Um, this does not count for games where your decisions are important. That's a different thing. Uh, but 
let's just... Oh, no. Okay, hold up. Uh, Alright, we want to get the key to just underneath us over there, so let's let the acid do the thing. And, oh, God. ah! Oh, oh! Oh, wait, that's water. Oh, water good. Water good. Okay, okay. Water good. It's like... It's, it's, it's like a bit of volleyball, too. Like, let me just, let me just volleyball boop it. Into place. Just, can you nudge? Just a little nudge. Oh. Wait a second. What is, what is that? Y'all see that, right? There's glowy art. It's, uh... So there was a factory spewing out maybe poison and people left, but maybe a lot of people died except one. Um, yeah, can I get like chalk? Can I get some sidewalk chalk that does this? Because I would totally be into that. But also I noticed that when we tapped the key to the thing, we're getting a little arrow that's telling us the thing you, the thing that you, um, the thing that you unlocked goes this way. But yeah. Hey, Nero! Um, it looks like maybe there was a survivor. Because they're not going to give up. They're going to work harder. Etc, etc. What? Alright. Oh, no, come back. Ah, no! Oh, this is... Okay. This is where it gets interesting. Um, ooh. Not the kind of interesting I wanted. But there's a checkpoint here, so it's all good. Um, okay, so we just want to give ourselves a slight boop. We need to get up the platform, over the spikes, and then not on the... Okay, but we want to get that... Oh, come on. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Brian, Brian, you're too, too much, too much, too much, too much. There we go. Uh, we want to get this party data if possible. Okay. Oh, what is... Wait, what? Oh, this, it, this repels us. We're gonna die. Oh, maybe not. No, hold on. I gotta get this. I gotta time this right because I am bad at this. Okay, can we roll down? Let's let's roll into the thing. Nope. Let's try again. to get this. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Ow. Why does the checkpoint have to be so far away? The little thing we're on also moves a bit in the in the acid lake. Okay. Oof. Um, thirty-three party party data found. Oh my goodness. Got about five and a half minutes on the giveaway. If you are curious and would like to give a shot at uh, getting a Steam code for this game, uh, type exclamation point enter in chat for a chance. Um, Paneer Pirate, you are not wrong. Like, I, I'm fumbling the buttons, so I'm probably being all like, ah, 
but it's very, very, um, it's very soothing. Like, oops, I gotta be back in the game to actually do the thing. There we go. Uh, let's bump into Leto, because Leto has the best things to say. I might try growing some flowers or something. Everyone likes flowers. They do, Leto. They do. Um, I'm wondering what mysteries are. Oh, so that's a mystery that we discovered, and it looks like there's more to discover. So that was part of the lore. Let's try furniture. We'll go with the easiest furniture. That's a couch. Let's try games. That looks like the ball pit. That looks like the ball pit, so I'm going to save up. I'm going to save up my party data, and maybe we can build the ball pit next. Um... Okay. You're really saving the day out there. With me wired to the ship and Leto just floating around. Well, let's just say we owe you one. Thanks, Harlow. Um, all right, there's probably not much to explore right now, so I can kind of boop around just to see, because there was one place where I think it won't let us go yet. It's my bad. Yeah, it won't let us go up there yet, so I guess we'll just go um, into the, the next area. <sighs> yeah, this could be another, like, nice laid-back. <laughs> this could be another nice laid-back game that I play off-stream or just in the in the quiet moments. Oh, the things float. What happens if we go in here? Are we... is this bad? You know, I gotta, like... Okay, so we just float, and the current takes us. Okay, so we actually kind of have to escape the current a little bit on that. Um, now, these secrets could be anywhere, and I'm not great at finding secrets, but we'll do our best. Okay. Uh... These areas are all locked, so... Oh! Oh, so that's a... I guess we have to push that to make the circuit thing do the thing. And... I don't want that... Maybe... Oh, maybe I did want that to fall down. Hold on. nowhere else for it to go so we're gonna boop this in the hole it's like it's like playing golf sort of such a simple mechanic um such a simple mechanic and it hasn't really needed a huge tutorial and it's not even really telling you like it's not you know like to learn that oh you touched a thing and you died therefore that's bad don't touch that thing that's that's a pretty easy message to learn okay i'm gonna guess that i need to take this key up the nope don't fall in the acid So we have now done this, and this is taking power back here. And then this takes power ah, down there. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit at the whims of uh, gravity and fate here, but that's okay. I think we want to do this. Oh, we can't. 
Huh. Can we move this out of the way? No. Okay, and we don't want to do the fire. Oh, we can... Oh, I see. We can do that. Okay, that is... That is my timer going off. Telling me that we've got another giveaway up. Uh, and I did that to myself. Oh no, is my checkpoint all the way back here? What a great time to take a break. What a great time to just oof, take a break and uh, see who is going to be the next winner. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this is for oh oh goodness oh goodness me this is for <laughs> so mad at it. Um. So yes. Uh, one more giveaway. Uh, we've got a few more to do. Uh, in the next hour. So, rolling and. Drum roll, please, which I actually don't have. So let's do this. Okay, well, Anna already won, so that's not okay. Game, why would you do that? Don't do that. There we go. Ta da! DC, congratulations, you've won. I just, why are you like this, Nightbot? So I guess that's what I kind of understand. It's weird. Um, let me go ahead and get you a Wispa. Interestingly enough, when I open up, uh, when I open up the Whisper for DC, the last thing was, uh, he won a Summer in Mara Steam Code back in April, looks like, of last year. Yeah, it would be, because it's not April yet, Brian. Wise up, buddy. Um, so congratulations. And we will take a little bit of a pause. Um, everyone can continue to enter. Uh, everybody will be saved in the giveaway. Um, so everyone continue to enter. And uh, I might take a little bit of a break. And then when we after we hit 5 o'clock my time, we'll do two more giveaways. Um, DC is one of our mods for Rivals of Waterdeep. And the keywords that always come up for the giveaways are really based on what we've just talked about or a joke we just made and they never fail to crack me up um, even when it's my own really really horrible joke okay I think I wanted to go down here okay so I want to land on this And, okay, so with with Harlow right on this thing, if I then yeet myself, it's using Harlow to push. And then that brings power over here. And that's my next checkpoint. Okay, so... We're gonna have to ride on top of the pipe. Ding. Uh, let's also pick up the party data. We're going to Party City. We're turning the ship into Party City. Okay, so what I need is down there, but I need to see what's over here now. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, so we need to go back. Wait, you're gonna crush me. It's not the number one crush that I like. I would not die for you. No, get up there! Oh, tricky! OK, 
Okay, we found more party data. We found a lot of party data this time, so we're gonna definitely make that ball pit. Um, yay. Oh, this game is cute. For the longest time, I didn't really think that I played cute games, and I definitely don't play puzzle games, and then I definitely didn't play platforming games, because I really just think, like, you try to not play games that you think you suck at, but then the more you play them, the more you kind of like, okay, maybe I'm one, not as bad as I thought I am, but two, you just get sucked in, and they're so much fun. And this one is so simple in its mechanics. Like, you know, it reminds me of Into the Spider-Verse, just whip and release. Like, you're really just like, yeet yourself, that's it, just yeet. Just aim and yeet, aim and yeet, aim and yeet. All right, Leto, what do you got for us? Boop. Critical alert, danger. Nah, just kidding, everything's good. Okay, let's go to our party, our party research. We're definitely building that ball pit. <clears throat> okay, we crafted the ball pit. So let's craft some music. Let's research some music. Okay, we can't get that yet. Uh, what about researching some food? All right, uh, we'll re we, we researched the couch. Let's research some artwork. And then we'll see if we can research some machinery. We'll just get things started. So we still need more to build the things, but we can start the research for them. And we didn't discover any mysteries yet, but it looks like there may only be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There might only be 10 things to discover. And it says every planet has secrets. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, looks like Manifesto has something to tell us. Manifesto is a great name for a robot. I've been doing some scans on the machinery out there. Mostly trying to find out who built all this stuff. I'll let you know if I find anything out. Or is that, I'll let you know if I find anything. Out. Whoop. I forgot to go play with the ball pit. I'm the worst. Okay, first, see what's in the water. Nothing. Okay, checkpoint. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to really learn how to uh, throw ourselves into our work, so to speak. Um, that wasn't enough. start over oh no oh no okay this is gonna take a little bit um it is very good um music is is very good let's try using this as our nope Do it. It's gonna happen. Oh, 
That's not high enough. Yes! Now, of course, I wonder, is there secrets up here? There are. Of course there are. Oh, there's all that good, good party data that I'm missing, but... Oh, I'm gonna have to go up there anyway. Well, great. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. He's lava. Sorry. Magma. our key friend. Okay, another checkpoint. Ooh, this looks like an elevator, like a little gravity thingy, so let's see if that works. Whoop, going up. Oh, no, going around. Going up. Nope. Going. Oh! Get in there! I nudged it out myself. It was me all along. Okay, you know what? Let's just roll down. <laughs> okay, this is. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. No, get back! This is. Thank you. Just. Boop! Okay, so I'm guessing that we can't touch the lava. So let's try not to do that. They're here somewhere. Um, we got more party data, so that's more important. And you can go back and play the previous levels. So, you know, did you miss a thing? Or maybe later on when I'm reading a guide on how I messed something up, I can go back and say, oh, let me just play that level over again, because I was so focused on trying to find my way out that I forgot to look for secrets. So far, I'm, you know, game has a nice, simple vibe. Um, okay, Lido, what's up? You ever just float around thinking about food? That's my whole life. It's great. That does sound pretty great, Lido. Oh, wait, did we not build the ball pit? Where's the ball pit? There's the ball pit. Yeah, well, pardon me. I gotta go play in a ball pit. Oh, oh. We are, oh, oh, we are being rushed along. Oh, okay. Oh, that takes us there. Okay. Um, let's go find that ball pit. of all this. There it is. Take care, Rogan. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, safe travel home. 
balls. The pupper is excited about the ball pit too. Balls in space. I can't believe Val actually, I can't believe that worked. We try not to reveal our streamer cheat codes, but the streamer cheat codes is basically to type literally anything in chat. Okay, like that is that is the streamer cheat code. Type literally anything in chat. It will very likely get read out. So, yup, yup. My biggest question is how the machines on the planet stay running. Turns out, there's huge subterranean power grid. Where it draws power from, however, is a mystery. Okay, so we have 53 research stars. Let's build something else. Um, uh, so there's a first aid station. Oh, it's not telling us what that is. Oops, my bad, wait. Uh, that looks like a couch. Let's see what the music is. The music changed. And it tells you when you've already crafted something, so you don't have to worry about it again. Alright, uh, there's not much else to do, but go on to the next bit. Sometimes that dog from my neighbors will actually come around to my patio and just sit there and bark at me. And I'm like... Yeah, because you're a dog. What else are you going to do but bark? I don't know if the dog likes people or not. It's never, like, been actually antagonistic. But it definitely is doing a... I'm... Like, I'm barking to to be a... To, to look like... Rrr, but I'm not really, like... I'm not worried about the dog actually doing anything. Um... But it's also very much like, You're on my patio, kiddo. What do you... Like, wh what? What do you want? I'm going to send a picture to like the building bulletin board one day and be like, look, whoever's dog this is, can you either come get it or tell me its name so that I can say hi or something? Okay, we need to boop our key up this... Oh, this is a tough... Okay. Oh no, come back, key. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? We're going to have to boop this key. The keys are impervious to the acid, so that's good. This is going to be tough because it's going to be, do we collect the party data or do we get the keys? Or do we get zapped by the acid? I would, I guess it's not really acid, it's probably implied more to be industrial waste. Um, I'm also getting a touch of Steven Universe vibes. Maybe it's the music and the machinery in the background, like, like if you watch Steven Universe, how every time they went to the kindergarten they were always ominous, like, you know, all the stuff is still here. Back in my day, I had to push a key uphill both ways around acid pits. Now 
No. No. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Shards, thank you for hanging out. Take care. Have a good have a good rest of your uh, have a good rest of your work day. You know what I think I might need to do is I might need to just That's not even fair. The industrial waste that curled around the gear got me that time. But I may need to go ahead and push my friendo up the hill. And I'm waiting for my bounce to recharge. Um, I may need to go push push my friendo up the hill, or oh come on, or get the lay of the land, collect the data points, and then come back for the friendo. So far, I haven't seen anything else I can interact with that blocks the the industrial waste or the lava so okay so we got that I'm, I'm out. I can't. I just... Checkpoint, please. Checkpoint, please. Oh, come on. Why is everything trying to kill me? I just want to put a party on for my friends. Okay, so that activated something, but not enough of something. So... Oh my gosh, does everything here hate me? I think it does. Doesn't it know we just want a party? Just want to put on a party for my friends. Down the shaft. Oh, that's not gonna be cute. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the that lovely thing that I love lit video games that you do where you kinda like you can basically stop and then hold yourself in midair and throw yourself another way. It's like such a superhero thing to do. That was total luck. That was no skill. That was absolute luck. I mean, I'll take it. That was 100% lucky! Got that party data, though. And if you're that kind of person that says, I could have done that better after you know the lay of the land, you can go back and basically try and beat your own time, so you can get a personal best on the levels. So far, I haven't seen any word about co-op or about comparing scores with friends, so it still is a very single-player experience right now. Okay, we didn't get tons of... or actually, no, we got a lot of party data then, didn't we? Yeah, we got like 30-something. Leto, what's up? Have you ever tried caffeinated mustard? It's terrifying, but pretty good on hot dogs. DC Lasser, if you're still in chat, you are not allowed to get an idea from that. Ah, 
I once had a salad, then I ate 20 more. It was great. My favorite human invention is probably snack time. I find it hard to disagree. Popcorn nachos. That's it. That's the whole idea. I really like you, Leto. Like, I really like you. Really like you. Um, alright. So... Let's make some artwork. what we made. So let's go find it. <gasps> oh my gosh! We made posters! Time to defrost! Oh! Wait! The... The colonists have names! De-wrist? Felipe. Felipe? 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 Tibbs. Lizzie. They have names. I wonder if those are backers or just friends. Um, this this sign says dance. Don't deactivate the robots. I feel like that one's laying it on a little thick there. Oh. So the colonists have names. Perhaps there's a story there. Uh, let's go talk to Manifesto. Ooh. We can't just land the ship anywhere. For one, it's huge. But also, we've got to find a place that's safe for the humans. No use landing the ship with horrible fire vents everywhere, right? So it looks like we've got to find a safe place for the humans. Um, I'm gonna pull the next. I'm gonna pull the next code in just a moment. Um, so if you would like to enter for a chance to win that Steam code, by all means, exclamation point enter in chat, and uh, I'm gonna pull that in a few minutes. But until then, we're gonna go back to the planet. What I do like about doing the giveaway in Nightbot is if I if I were to be able to ask a mod to do it for me, they'd be able to run it for me, and that would be really nice. Um, I am the worst streamer in that I really hate asking mods to do like any work at all. Um, but it would be it's it's nice that they can they can actually hop in and do that if need be. Okay, so looks like we need to go up. First, let's kind of see what's around. Okay, there's a uh, there's a key friend. Um, so if you go to the Steam page, uh, exclamation point Harlow, or that link that's in the giveaway announcement. They do sell the soundtrack as well, so you can buy the game, but you can also buy the soundtrack separately or as a bundle. Do this? 
<laughs> oh. So, the factory, it looks like people left from the factory, but maybe they started looking into leaving the planet? Or, I can't tell, maybe that's not, maybe that's just a look at the sun or another place. It's like a magnifying glass. Maybe the factories are causing global warming. I don't know. It's mysterious. So that looks like that's another added element. Like you have the story of you finding, you know, finding resources to throw a party, but there's also this mystery of Okay, what happened to the planet that you're on? You know, why is it so... bleak? Actually, you know what? You go over there. I'll be fine. I gotta, get, I gotta pick up this party data! I'm glad that was water, because I was not looking where I leaped. Left. Something. Oh, shoot. That's... that's... that... That pipe is poison! Oh, crap! Oh crap. Oh crap. Um, where'd my gear go? Oh, I gotta get you. Oh no, not up another hill. Okay. Uh, uh industrial ways to go down. So we can go up this way. I feel like there's something up there and I want to check it out. So, it's interesting, like, if I can find a place to rest, my my uh, bouncy jumpy will recharge. Wait, what is that? Is that the... Is that a reflection in the water of the thingy? It is! Ooh, we like that. Um, so my thing will recharge. So while that's happening and we're going back, let me pull the next winner. Um, all right, so I see a bunch of people in chat eligible for the giveaway. Uh, and I think Nightbot's still in there, so we're not doing that. Okie dokie. So. Rolling. Okay, I just... That's not... Aim. Why are you... Okay, so... That's a slight problem. There we go. Okay, I think I'm figuring out how to do this right and wrong. Click Flint, if you are around, please say something in chat. Um, 
Quick Flint, if you are around, say something in chat because you have won a giveaway for a Steam code for Harlow, the game that we are playing on stream right now. If you're not around, I'll come back in a few minutes and uh, we'll roll it for somebody else. But let's go back to the ship and see what's up. Yeah, this is good music. Okay, and we're back home. We have a lot of party research to go. Lido, what's up? Sometimes I dream about swimming in a lake of salsa. Nice choice. Okay, let's... That's a rather spicy dr- oh. Yep, yep it is. Um, let's try researching another game. And can we build anything yet? So let's research some more lighting. to research more stuff. Uh, maybe some food? No, I think we can't research anything else. Nope, we need more uh, party data. Okay, so let's talk to Manifesto and see what's next up. Boop. Yoink. Leto keeps going on and on about food. I know Leto is a companion robot and is supposed to be relatable to humans, but... He doesn't even have a mouth. That's it? That's all you gotta say? Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the map again. So we're still in chapter one. And it looks like there are more chapters to go, so... We're gonna collect some more data. Um... First get this checkpoint, then look around. Ooh, we don't like that. Crusher not good, crusher bad. This means that we need to find a gear buddy, or a hex buddy, and we need to find and get them... Okay, so let's push you this way, and back this way. Actually, you're going to roll right into place for me, please? Maybe? Not quite. Okay, uh, let's hold up. So that worked. That unlocks this. And we have another gear buddy we gotta get up here somehow. Uh, oh, we have an elevator. Good. Okay. So let's move this. Oh, come here. No, nope, come here. No, nope, come get over here. Gear net, though. Nothing but net. Um, 
Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna assume that Click Flint is not around, and that is 100% okay. Uh, we're gonna click and roll another one. So, boom. Shards, who I also know went and went away. Um, but I will give it the standard. I will give it the standard time, just in case you're here, and just in case you are lurking and listening. Um, I'll give it a few minutes, and we will go back to playing. It's like I can't even give away game codes today. Um, okay, so... That unlocked... This. Okay, so this will boop this. But let's go up here. Um... I mean, I'm glad to actually work with Nightbot to figure out how the how the giveaway works because there are things that, like, not even sponsored stuff that, like, I just want to give away. Like, I know I talk about the NPCs series by Drew Hayes a lot, and I would love to actually say, here's some Kindle codes for the things so I can, like, stop talking about it and you can actually just read it and enjoy it for yourself. And then you'll probably see where some of my DM... Some of my DM inspiration comes from... Oh, crap. Well, you're a big pushy boy, aren't you? Boop. Okay. Um. Oops. I want to get that party data. Not yet. We're not ready to leave yet. We have party data to acquire. Whoosh. It was very kind of Rogue, not only to uh, not only to approach me to uh, to showcase the game on its launch day, but to also give a few codes to give out. So if you won, I really hope that you go and enjoy it. I hope you go and stream it. Um, and if not, I hope that you check it out on Steam. And if what you've been seeing on stream today entices you to buy the game, fantastic. And one percent of the net sales of all their purchase are going to go to charity. Uh, one is for uh, Answer to College, and the other is Black Girls Code. I really love music. It really helps pass the time. Agreed, 100%. My favorite kind is very niche, though. It's like rhythmic static. To each their own, you know? What would a computer consider entertaining music and repeated rhythm, I wonder? Okay, so let's craft another game. Bounce pads. Okay, let's go see how these bounce pads work. Also, Lido, what you got? Who asked about deep fried soup dumplings in the chat? Because Lido's here with you. Oh, jump pads. Oh! Wait a second. I'm not doing the ball. I'm not. Okay, so there's the music that we unlocked earlier. There's the ball pit. Still learning the fine nuances of the ball pit and the jump pads. 
Oh, geez, Lido, no! Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me get you off under there. Oof. Sorry about that, Lido. Don't let your friendo get trapped underneath crates on your cryo sleep ship. That's not good. Um. Okay, so let's head back down. Um, it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to call another person and we'll just keep trying until somebody wins and is here and would like the game. So roll it. Comrade Slyther, if you are interested and would like to claim a Steam code for the game Harlow, which I am playing on stream right now, say hi in chat, and it is yours. <laughs> Not a problem. Let me go ahead and get that to you. I'm sending you a Twitch whisper. Uh, if anyone, if you don't get it, let me know. It should pop up on your screen. Um, if it doesn't work, I can also use Twitter and, uh, hey, Celestian, how are ya? Uh, the, the thing is, I can check that. You did enter. Um, you did enter. So, yeah, we have a lot of people. We have 25 people entered still currently, um, who are eligible. So, fantastic. thing I see it's an issue is when somebody wins, it doesn't take them as uneligible, so it's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, exclamation point enter to chat. Sorry, exclamation point enter in the chat. I'll be giving away the next code maybe closer to six o'clock when we're winding down, and that'll be a nice end of stream thing. Um, streamer brain thing is real. Streamer brain is so, so real. Um, but I'm doing pretty well today. It's a it's an okay Tuesday. I have to admit, I'm still a little bit time hungover from the time change, but I do appreciate the light level. I appreciate that when I'm done with stream, it will still be bright outside and I can get some leftovers from last night. Uh, last night I was uh, on Wireless Riot stream and we were making things for pie day. So I ended up making a cottage pie, a flatbread salad, and a, a mock apple pie. Those are sirens because Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's time to have windows open all the time, and uh, outside's noisy. Um, but yeah, it'll be really nice to essentially not have to worry about food for a few nights, because I do have leftovers, and it's going to be delicious. I have no idea what's below me. This could end up very badly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shoot, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh no, not all the way back here. Uh, throwing stuff into a pan, pouring sauce over it and calling it dinner is how dinner works. So, absolutely, Celestian. Um, let me try and find that next checkpoint so I don't, I don't, like, ruin myself again. Okay, so let's get... I think I'm being a little too timid, because I'm trying to also avoid the fire spots. If you boop those little fire spots, you can't go back, so I'm trying to avoid booping those. And the checkpoint was right here the whole time. Okay. 
moving our buddies around. We're trying to push it to... Okay, so we need to unlock that. I'm going to guess that we need to go this way. Move it into the key position. Okie dokie. And... Grab more party data. Oh, what's this? It's... We can't get past these rocks. Okay. And there's lava. Oh. We want that party data, though. Oh, we don't want to get crushed? No! Oh, I was so close. I was so close. data up there. Okay. Oh no. Are you serious? I don't want to go up there. I'm probably going to have to go up there, aren't I? Well, let's keep rolling and see if I absolutely have to go up there. Uh, but first, there's a lot of party data to find. Oh, interesting, I found another way up that didn't involve the double crush. Screw you, double crushers. <laughs> 75 party data, that's like the most we've found so far. Okay, all right though. What you got, Lido? What's up, my bouncy metallic friend? It's fair. Alright, Manifesto, what do you got to say? The research station above me has all sorts of data fragments, and this game could have used a proofreader. Some of it's even music. Any music you decrypt, I'll put it on the ship's playlist. Fair. So, you do unlock the tunes. Um, you do unlock the tunes as you go, so let's see if we can unlock some more music. Welcome home, Rogan. Okay, so that's a new track. Very chill. We like it. Enjoy the lurk. Uh, we're going to be on for another 18 to 20 minutes or so. Um, and then we'll find someone to raid. And uh, we'll do another giveaway in a few minutes for the final Steam code I have in my repertoire. No, well, whatever. I was going to like pull it out from under my shirt. It's not, there are not Steam codes down here. There aren't. Pretty sure. I haven't looked. No, there's no steam codes down there. It'd be so much easier if there were. Now it's raining here. This is new. What is, what's, oh, oh. We boot the obstacle and the obstacle goes away for a moment.
Okay, no, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back! That's gonna be an interesting, uh, that's gonna be an interesting mechanic. So you basically boop those. Anything else up here? No. Uh, you boop those and they go away for a moment. So that's the way the game teaches us, okay, here's a new thing you need to learn. But again, uh, you know, like was mentioned before, it doesn't say it. It just kind of puts it there, and it's for you to figure out. But bumping into it does recharge our, our jump. So we recharge our boop by booping. Sorry, we recharge our yeet by booping. And I like how the level was short because it's like, no, we just wanted you to learn this one thing and uh, moving on. That's like the fastest level we've gotten through, I think. Tons of data, but that's okay. Uh, let's go talk to Manifesto again. Wow, it got dark out there, huh? Looks like it'll stay dark for a few more days in orbit. Wild. Planets are so cool. Y yeah, I mean, planets are very cool. So, we'll go back at it, I suppose. I wonder if that's saying, are we, are we playing in night mode now? We kind of are with the purples and the blues. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It's purplish, it's bluish, it's raining. This has a lot of my favorite things in one level. I gotta say. Oh, that's not going to be pretty, is it? Oh, that's definitely not going to be pretty. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this. And that... Oh, no! Sorry, I yelled. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, this music, though. This music is quite nice. So when in doubt, eat more. Oh, we found a secret! My planet's got a secret. Just wanna get up here so I can see the secret, please. There we go. Oof, all right. So it looks like this secret has a lot of death from the toxic waste. People chose to go one way or to something unknown and there's what looks like a flower and maybe a fountain or some rocks. I'm not sure, but it looks like whatever happened to these people, they knew that they, um, that they should leave. I have a theory about... Oh, maybe hands. Maybe. I have a theory about what's happened here. 
Um, I have a theory, but I'm gonna let it go. Okay, I skipped past that whole thing. Uh, flawlessly is what I obviously meant to do. Yes, that's, that's totally intentional, what I just did there. 100%. No, I want that party data. No, no, I wanted the party. Dang it. I want to go back for the party data. Oh, our A. 69 jumps, though. 69 jumps. I think that's a good reason to pull one more giveaway. One more. Just one more. Just one more. Okay, and go. Gunkle Gamer, if you are here, let me know. I don't know if you said you had to go lurk, um, but Gunkle Gamer, if you are around, let me know. I feel like earlier you said you had to go for a bit, but let me double check. Actually, it's quite far up. So, uh, so if Gunkle Gamer is in chat, please say hello, say hi, say yes, I'm here. Um, I'll give it a few minutes, and if not, then we will re-roll it. 69 jumps. Nice. I do like the music. It's a bop. Like, a nice little chill bop. What do you got to say to us? Oh man, if I had pockets, I'd be unstoppable. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I scanned those disappearing blocks, and you won't believe this. They're tiny quantum structures. What can you post it with anything else I learn about the planet? Okay. I also like that this is a very it's a this is a very chill here. Like you can just kind of hang out here, do your thing. But otherwise, it's like you just hang out here to get one more piece of story, and then you move on. Uh, let's see. We haven't we haven't made any food, so let's make some food. Uh, let's see what we made. I think it's probably a vending machine. Oh, it's up there. Oh, look at it. It's got a little... Oh, it's got a little happy emote. Hold on. Uh, can we get up there? I haven't checked my email in, like, 600 years. It's great. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sly. So we've got snacks ready for the colonists when they when they wake up. This is gonna be a great party. Is that a cat? That was a cat. Aww, you get to take your cat. So, uh, let's uh, head back down one more time, and I don't think Uncle Gamer is around, um, so I will cancel that. 
and we'll roll it one more time. Ethan Silverstar, if you are still around and hanging out, uh, do let me know. Because you have won, so all you need to do is say hello. I will send you a Twitch Whisper with the code. And all will be square. Well, maybe round, because we're sort of a... We're not really round or square. We're kind of like octagonal, maybe? Wait, one, two... Yeah, we're kind of like an octagony sort of thing. Like eight points. Come along. Ooh. There's got to be a whole thing in here about science. Like, you know, we have to basically... We have to basically hit things to recharge our ability to move more, so there's got to be a whole kinetic and potential energy dealing going on here. Like, what would happen if Gambit threw us, kind of thing. No! Well, at least I made that happen. and you shall receive. Oh no, we're gonna have to use these to... Oh goodness, this is why I'm glad that I, 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 I enabled the ability to slow things down when I'm aiming, because this is gonna take some finesse. not finesse that was that was the opposite of finesse Should look where we're going. We should. Oh, that was it. Oof. Dang it. Four more jumps for. Okay, that's fine. But 169 seconds. So let me check back in. Um. Again, it is it is it is not easy to give something away, but I do realize that a lot of people have been hanging out for a few hours. So I understand if you're not here, it's 100% fine. Lurkers are always welcome. Um. So let me roll one more time. Brian, Brian Cortillo, are you around? Uh, congratulations, Brian, who I have met in person and is very nice, as all of Brian's are. Uh, if you're around, let me know. Um, if not, we will. I will try one more time in a little bit. Um, and then otherwise, I will give it away perhaps on my next stream. <clears throat> Um, but let's head back to the ship.
got 88. Cheese, pepper, pasta. Got you a Pepe's food from the heavens. You are not wrong. Oh, I know I'm saying it wrong, but that's just delicious. Eventually, this planet will need a name. We can just tell the humans we've already named it. Manifesto 2? Huh? Who said that? I mean, I like it though. We're not naming the planet after you, Manifesto. Nice try. Nice try. Um, alright. Uh, sorry, pardon me. Um, so we have some more mysteries. I guess we'll make a... Let's make that sweet couch. Gamer couch. Maybe. And we'll research you. Maybe it's a chair. Oh, it's a chair! Oh, there's chairs! They're everywhere! Oh, it's sweet. It is sweet furniture time now. We can't sit in the chairs, but that's okay. So I like this. We are just like... We're just Planet Festo. <gasps> We're just like redecorating the ship, and when they wake up, they'll be like, What? It's a party for us? We're totally not going to deactivate you now, even though you got us lost and we, we don't know where we are. But I have concerns about the planet. Um, I have concerns about the planet because it doesn't look like it's very habitable right now. So, eh, eh, eh. So we'll do this one last, oh wait. Oh, I thought that was like a, we'll do this one last one and then I will find someone to raid. Um, and we'll call it for the evening. Nope, that's not gonna work out. I also like how the music, like, the music is like, even I'm a little bit disappointed in you. You made me lose my groove when you, uh, you kinda, when you kinda boof it a little bit, like, like this. Or like this. Um, this, I, this would not be the first time that I thought about stopping a game right in the middle of a level because I wasn't doing well at it. So why don't we see if we can just get to the things and not worry about the party, the party data just yet, but. should probably be looking for checkpoints. Okay, so that's okay. Because I, I felt like I zenned, I totally zenned that. I was like, oh yeah, I got, oh, I don't got this. See, the game is like, oh, you thought you were done streaming. You're not done yet. Defeat me and we shall see. So let's get over there. Woo! Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Ah! Praise! Jeebus, it's a checkpoint!
Oh crap. To like, well, the, the really I can tell my bad thing, so when you play, don't do this. I am, uh, I'm always going at maximum yeet every time, so I'm going at like full, full yeet, full schwack. And, uh, don't do that. If you, if you like do tinier hops, you're gonna have more control and a little more finesse. Um, but I also like to go full yeet, so what are you gonna do? Tiny yeets. Like baby yeets. Not full yeet. <laughs> yes! Alright, so yes. Gentle. Gentle yeets. Controlled yeets. Let your yeetage be a little more moderated than mine. I'm a full yeet person every time. Little hints of yeet, tiny sousson of yeet, the barest whisper of the yeet, a little yeet as a treat, you know, things like that. Uh, Sue, if you are around, you have one to give away because I can't seem to give anything away today. I realize I don't do giveaways very often, so... It's probably just my general karma and luck about a giveaway. Uh, but Sue, if you are around, we little baby eats. We we little baby eats. You are indeed here. Yay! Okay, let me send that to you. May the yeet be with you. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh no! <laughs> Got that clutch. Oh, I am sorry. I, you know, um, I'm sorry to anyone who who may have been here and just missed. Um, it's about time for me to wind down, and I wanted to make sure that um, if people were around, they were able to win. And it is random. It's random chance. The bot doesn't favor anyone over anyone else. Um, but let's see one last time what Leto has to say. Sometimes I dream about starting an ice cream business. Lido, I'm right there with you. Um, I was briefly, for a time, when I made nothing but ice cream and sorbet all the time, and it was so good. The planet looks pretty nice at night, to be honest. I mean, aside from the pools of acid and the machinery... Yeah, aside from the dangerous stuff, it's gorgeous out there! Sirens here, so sorry. Um, but that's a good place for me to bring it to a close for today. Let's see what the Okay, so we are now on chapter two. So, 10 levels, it's pretty fair. And let's build a first aid station. Because, you know, sometimes you party a little bit too hard and you need first aid. So, let's see, what's the first aid station look like, if we can find it? Have you ever had a pizzaco? It's a pizza folded like a taco. Magical. I gotta say, I like your style, Lido. Oh, here's the first aid kit. So, this game is really cute. Um, it's... 
Uh, it's got gorgeous music. Uh, the soundtrack is also available on Steam if you check it out. Bouncy bounce. Um, one more boop into Lido. You want to know a secret? Me too. Let me know if you hear one. Oh, Lido, you're so cute. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's go to the main menu. Hopefully it saved our game. Or at the very least, it saved that we had hit those spots. So, yep. Continue. Um, and in the settings, if you want, you can reset your progress. I have asked the I have asked them to ask the dev team if there is a plan in future for there to be volume sliders um, and graphic settings changes. But the game runs pretty light. Um, from what I can tell, the game is it's it runs pretty light. It's not a large download. Um, and if you are interested in the game, exclamation point Harlow, that bit.ly link will take you to the Steam page. Um, you know, Rogue Company provided this for me and they sponsored this stream and it's, uh, it's been a delight playing it. It's really cute. It's very chill. I'm going to enjoy the laid backness of this probably a little bit later on, but for now it's time for me to go find some dinner, watch some Star Trek and have a chill night. So let's go find someone to raid. <laughs> 